Hi. I'm supposed to tell you I'm test subject 13. We appreciate our, our... I just wanted to be taller. I was not born into a tech world. It came along much later. <laughs> and I wonder, you know, um, it's it, generations now were born into it. And that changes so much about our culture. And I wonder how that's reflected in your series. And I'll ask that of Melody. Um, well, our, our television show takes place 15 to 20 years in the future. So as if you've seen some of the episodes, you see that it's actually a little more advanced than what we're dealing with right now. Yeah. Yes. Um, and uh, we wanted to make it a little bit we wanted to make it fun and cool and aspirational, the technologies that are that we invented, but not so far in the future that it won't be recognizable or relatable to kids because we wanted it to, the show to be very grounded. And kids deal with technology every day of their lives now, you know, between their, their different computers and phones and uh, game consoles. And so, you know, they're already very comfortable with technology, and certainly yeah. much better at it than I am. <laughs> Dancing isn't your whole life. You have school too. But this is important. You've enrolled in a medical trial. This will make me taller for sure. Andrew, uh, you know, nanobots in, in the body, that's a bad thing. Um, <laughs> it's, it's not good. And I wonder, it's sort of a cautionary thing, uh, concerning tech to a degree, but bad people. And I wonder if you try to guide children in this, uh, or young people in this series, in terms of the pros and cons of tech. Well, we try to not uh, take a position of tech being bad. I think it, we're very, you know, um, proud and, and pro-tech, but really it's, it's more of the human stories uh, yeah. that... It's not even about the, the the science fiction and the tech helps us tell the story, but uh, first and foremost, we were trying to tell stories that are relatable and actually timeless. I need you to pretend to be me while I practice dance. Hey, what's up, Jesse? Okay, let's try this again. Now, in terms of the storylines, you have certain characters that we follow, and uh, and we get quite close to them. And it's, there are some very funny things that happen and some serious things that happen. So how do you keep it light and bouncy? <laughs> well, some episodes are more light and bouncy than others. That's, yes. that's, that's for sure. Um, no, I mean, we want the show to be fun and entertaining to watch. And I think you can tell a good dramatic story with conflict or a heartfelt story and still have levity in it. Um, in fact, we need that because sometimes when there's a moment of emotion or a moment of tension in our own lives, what do we do? We, we make a joke to sort of break right. the tension and, and release that discomfort. And I think we do that in our show as well, where there's moments where you have to treat it with a great deal of sincerity because of what the character's going through. But then, you know, you can add those, uh, those moments of humor as well to balance that out. Which I think in the divorce episode is a great example of that. There, there were moments where the actress Veda was brilliant at the emotional, deeper kind of heartfelt scenes. But then there were other scenes that, you know, she was really funny <laughs> and with her friend and stuff. So it's, it's that balance. So we get to run around in a memory like time travelers. Wow. We can turn off mom and dad's parental controls. Maz, you play a, a no-nonsense uh, school principal, um, and you're you know you're very dedicated to your work and and to presenting yourself in a certain way, and then there's a switcheroo, which to me is one of my favorite kinds of comedies, and suddenly you're Cole, Cole's you, and everything is torn asunder. <laughs> so what was it like being adolescent E again? Oh, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun to get a chance to play a teenager. Um, one of my favorite movies is Big with Tom Hanks. And when he gets to play a teenager in an adult body, it's so much fun. So I, I think I, I had, at first I had too much fun with it because we had a table read and I think I really went for it. 
And then the director, <laughs> Romeo Candido, did a good job of saying, hey, let's try and tone it down a little bit because let's not forget that even though he's a teenager in an adult's body, he's trying to hide it from everybody else. So that's a third layer to it that, that, that you got to, as an actor, you got to go, oh, okay, so I can't really be all over the place. I got to kind of, you know, try and, you know, keep it in. So uh, I think <laughs> having seen the final product, it, it actually worked well. You seem different. Stay back. If this doesn't work, we may never be able to fix mom and dad. And Cole, of course, you go from, you know, super cool, like um, uh, alpha dog to... Yes, and then you've got to do this, that, and the other thing. Mm -hmm. Very prim. Yeah. What was that like? Well, I think you got it just right there. Um, you know, uh, it's it was a lot of working on making Seth and the principal very different in how they present themselves. Like, Seth is very flowy, go with the flow, he kind of does whatever. And then the principal has a set of rules that he likes to follow, a plan that he likes to go by all the time. And I think I just kind of worked in a lot of how I think kids perceive adults in the fact that they're very uh, not kid-like. They like to not know exactly like. what's gonna happen and they can't deviate from it. So it was, that was a lot what I worked on and it was, it was a very interesting and fun role, yeah. At the school. We have to see if they need help. Every little action can make a difference. Children are encouraged, yep, youngsters, teenagers, are encouraged to be active and play sports and get outside and get away from screens. I think that's an incredibly positive move. So, you know, I, I we see the, that these kids are, are normal and healthy and they're not being overrun by tech. Yeah. So I feel like agree? a lot of, a lot of the show is, is centered around tech, but you can see that it's not, it's not the, the center of, every scene, like no no one right. scene is just completely based on that because our modern world will continue to improve and technology will continue to grow, but what really guides the world is those connections between people. Yeah, the technology it's launches the, the, the episodes, but the episodes really are about uh, human relationships and, and uh, lessons that, that we learn and we talk about in the shows. It's really weird. Or way past weird. We appreciate our effort.